Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. I've got sure it's Tuesday today. Um, yeah, it's John's last day off of Christmas break. Not that yesterday felt that much of a break. Um, so he's having a bit of a lie in today. Mr. Reuben got up at quarter to six. Um, so he has had his breakfast already. Um, he's watching Mickey Mouse Clubhouse because. I'm trying to get my house back in order, so um, even though we weren't here much today, there was a lot of dishes, so they've all been done. I've not done any laundry, I think, since the day before Christmas Eve, and there are days when Ruben seems to go through like three or four outfits still, um, so I've got a load of whites on, and just trying to get the house looking a little bit less chaotic. Um, both boys are still feeling quite sorry for themselves after yesterday. Um, we have to, like all of our plans have changed. Um, they can't be left unattended for 24 hours, I think it is, um, from like, so, from like yesterday, five o'clock. Um, yeah, they can't be left alone. So there's, uh, we were going out for the day today, but we can't do that because we have to look after our babies, um, which is fine. Um, yeah, they're both feeling very sorry for themselves, but they're still here, which it could have been a lot worse, do you know what I mean? That would have been, after a really horrible year, that would have been the most horrific Christmas thing to lose our puppies as well. But yeah, so today will be a dead home for me. Um, yeah, so, try, trying to get the house looking a little less chaotic, because we still have presents that he's not opened. Obviously John and I have opened our presents, but... We still have presents that Reuben hasn't done with because he wants to play with everything, which is cute. Um, at this rate, we're going to save them for Valentine's. <laughs> Hello, so it's like quarter to twelve. I've got a brew, John just made me a coffee. Ruben has gone down for his nap. I am cooking cooking some hot bake rolls in the oven. Just carved up some turkey and gammon. Uh, John and I are gonna have some hot sandwiches, drink coffee and chat rubbish to each other and chill while Mr. Ruben naps. And then when he gets up the uh, tornado of toddler continues. It's not pretty, but it's going to taste good. So, pup bake rolls, gammon with coleslaw, and turkey with pickle. This is John giving the boys their medicine. It's gross. What is it? A cat. It's a cat. <laughs> I don't think that's how you walk a cat. Poor cat. Mac and cheese round one. This is Ruben's version. We've got the festive pasta with peas, basic cheese sauce, some cucumber and some turkey for Mr. Ruben. Mm. Are you reading Pip and Posy? Mm. Mm. Good job. little man is in bed. John is tidying up all the toys that have been pulled out today and I'm making mac and cheese round two. 
and it's tea time and tonight we have got mac and cheese this pasta is the tri-coloured christmas pasta from aldi or Lidl, aldi um where it's like the shape of parsnips and birds and christmas trees um pigs and blankets broccoli peas mac and cheese sauce extra cheddar yeah that's tonight's tea and that is bedtime um so the pigs and blankets mac and cheese went down well john really liked it win um i finalized the food shop because asda are coming tomorrow we seem to have a lot of cake <laughs> in our house um a lot of cake a lot of chocolate a lot of biscuits um and a big chunk of turkey and a big chunk of chunk of gammon still in the fridge but yeah not a normal full-size shop but we've got after coming um we watched celebrity christmas bake off which was nice and possibly the most important bit of the evening is darwin went over to his toy box and he got his stuffed lion out and he ran around and he did his little unicorn trots and his little dance um which is the first time he's played with the toy all day well since we took him to the vet yesterday. Um, so clearly Darwin is feeling better. Gilly still isn't quite right. Uh, obviously, we know that from the well, the vet educated guess was that Darwin, if he had any, it was literally the crumbs that Gilly left. And our greedy little Gilly pretty much guaranteed it for the full, like the six spies, which is why obviously he was so much more poorly at the vet's. Um, and it's taking him a lot longer to come back to his normal self. We're still in the danger zone for kidney and liver failure. So yeah, we're doing all that charcoal stuff um, throughout the day. But, like Each dog has to do a whole bottle a day. Um, and we're monitoring the wee, which is gross. But, you know, we've got to make colour and make sure it's happening. Um, otherwise, we need to go back. Uh, which has meant we can go out today uh, and I won't be going out tomorrow. Jump back to work tomorrow. Basically, I'm not planning on. We did have a play date on Thursday, but I'm going to cancel that um, because our puppies are more important than going shopping and going on play dates, which are a bit mean for Ruben on some play dates for him, but yeah. He will be fine with stickers and colours and cartoons. We just need to get them. Friday morning, if they're weeing properly and everything's fine, we, we know we're out of the woods. We've just got to get through to that. But yeah, that is the end of our day. So John's back at work tomorrow. I'm off to the new year. My house is a mess. Um, but yeah, 